the Chauncey lactose intolerant hedgehog. <laughs> anyway, finally, it's been four years in the making, but now the finishing touches are being put on Scotland's longest and perhaps most colourful community mural. The old Collington Railway Tunnel in Edinburgh has quickly become one of the capital's newest popular attractions, with around 6,000 people visiting it each weekend, as Laura Alderman reports. In go the final screws, and 2,000 square metres of mural is completed at last. The Collington Tunnel is Scotland's largest historical mural and takes you on a riotously colourful journey through a Robert Louis Stevenson poem describing a childhood railway ride. Professional artists teamed up with almost 500 school children to bring this disused old railway tunnel back to life. Well, it's been a long haul and we've uh, really tried to have professional artwork alongside a heap of community engagement and I just think it, it really adds an energy into the piece that no one really does it like this. The mural features celebrities and some well-known local faces too, like 16-year-old Kira Noble, who's been battling a rare form of cancer for five years. Her fighting spirit now etched onto these walls. I mean, it's, it's a complete honour. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It's so cool, like amazingly cool. But this project was forged out of panic. Footfall in the village dramatically decreased in 2016 when their only bank closed. The question that we were asking ourselves, or I was asking myself, was how do you get more people to come to Conanton? And one really daft idea was, well, we've got this ancient railway tunnel. It's dark, it's scary, it's pretty grim. What if we did something really stupid and painted a mural inside it? That daft idea soon became a reality, and as the tunnel transformed, so too did the fortunes of the local community. It's become a destination, and that was actually what we set out to do. And during lockdown, the project went from strength to strength. It's now considered one of the top tourist attractions in the capital and a local wonder. On an average Saturday, around 3,000 people will come through the tunnel. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. The artwork's brilliant. It's the first time we've been here, so... I think it's beautiful. So it's not what you'd anticipate for an old railway tunnel, shall we say? I mean, it looks really good because the, um, they added pictures. Um, yeah. And like, because there's things that weren't here before. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. A stunning expression of community spirit and a piece of pure escapism. Here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. Laura Alderman. STV News. Fantastic. And we have checked, and hedgehogs are lactose intolerant. <laughs>